Can hyaluronic gel shots work to help heal hip arthritis? The answer is no, not by themselves, and let me explain why. Hyaluronic gel shots, often just called gel shots for short, are intended to increase the space inside of a hip joint when they're being used to treat a bone-on-bone -bone hip arthritis situation. They'll inject the hyaluronic gel inside the joint between the bones so that they can try to increase the space there and cushion the joint. Now this is not a primary treatment for hip arthritis. Usually medications and pain injections are tried first. And when I'm talking about pain injections, a hyaluronic gel shot is not a, a direct pain injection. They're usually injecting some sort of steroid, like a corticosteroid inside to help with pain and inflammation. That's not what a hyaluronic gel shot is. And if medications and pain injections are, don't work for you, they'll typically offer you general physical therapy afterwards. And if that doesn't work, of course, they'll start to talk about doing a hip joint replacement surgery. But right around in that time between doing physical therapy and doing surgery, your doctor might bring up gel injections as an option for treatment. So it's usually not a primary treatment. It's done like third or fourth or fifth along with like PRP, platelet-rich plasma injections, or maybe even stem cell injections. Those are the regenerative medicine injections. Gel shots don't technically fall into that because they're not regenerating anything. That's not their intent. So the, it's, it's in one of those like weird non-researched zones for treatment for hip arthritis. Now, some doctors will also call this visco supplementation shots. And all that means, the, the visco part of the word, the prefix, is short for viscous, which is the thickness of a fluid. And so like uh, honey is a very viscous fluid compared to water, for instance. So the thought is that if they're injecting this viscous gel into your hip joint, that it adds cushion because if they put something that's really watery, not viscous, then it's just gonna squish it right away and not be effective. Now the supplementation part of visco supplementation means that the fluid, the actual gel itself, has components in it that mimic the fluid, the normal natural fluid inside your hip joint. It's called synovial fluid. Um, so they're putting components in there that might help to heal the hip cartilage, um, but it's kind of iffy if it really does do that or not. Now that I've explained that part, let me tell you why this doesn't work on its own, but it might help with another treatment. Hyaluronic gel injections don't treat the root cause of hip arthritis. They may help to reduce the pain by increasing the space within the joint. They may help to get you to a position where you can tolerate better exercise because the joint mobility is improved, the, the motion inside the joint is better. But they don't fix the root problem, which is a muscle imbalance that's putting too much force to the joint. So in hip arthritis, the root muscle imbalance is usually on the, if this is your hip joint right here, the front of the hip has the hip flexor muscles, the back of the hip has the glute muscles or the butt muscles, and it's usually the butt muscles that are too weak and the hip flexors that are too dominant and strong because they're compensating to get stability and to provide motion for the joint. And if your glutes aren't doing their job, then these muscles are gonna work extra, and so it's compressing the front of the joint too much. Well, if you put gel in there, it might help temporarily, but your body absorbs it, the effects go away over time. And the doctor will tell you this and they'll say, you might need to do several injections over time in order to have a sustained benefit. But it's because the root imbalance is still there and the doctor's not trained to see it or, or identify it or treat it in you. So they're not gonna know about that. They're just gonna say, let's do the next injection or let's do the surgery now, or let's try this other thing. And they all tend to be short term solutions. But no amount of hyaluronic gel injections, visco supplementation, is going to fix the muscle imbalance. You have to get those weak muscles stronger and you have to do it in such a way that is isolating the glutes and that is not making you use the quads and the hip flexors, the other muscles that are causing too much pressure. But you might get these gel injections to assist you in that process. I have had patients do that. I've told them this exact explanation that I'm giving to you. And I've said, just don't count on those gel injections to solve the problem. That's what people do is they, they move on to the next thing that everybody's talking about, which is these gel injections as a possibility to solve their hip arthritis. But it's not the main thing that's going to fix the problem. You need to fix the root of the problem, the muscle imbalance. And if you can get some help with addressing the muscle imbalance, then you're going to have potentially a quicker way to resolving hip arthritis.
If you want help with fixing that root muscle imbalance, if you want to learn more about it, I talk all about it here on this channel. I've got all my hip arthritis videos in a playlist for you down in the link below. It's called the Hip Arthritis Help Playlist. And I've also put my treatment approach in a very organized program. It's called the Hip Arthritis Recovery Program. It's over 30 videos of me walking you through the entire process to fix a hip arthritis issue. You can find a link to learn more about that down in the description below. Hey, if this video was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. Please share this with somebody you think needs to see this. Please hit the subscribe button as well and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our helpful videos that we post each and every week. And hey, drop a comment. Let us know what your biggest takeaway was from this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.